It's back! Hey guys, it's Dave here, and today was day one of insanity, which means it was also the few days after I finished the half Ironman triathlon. And here's something kind of cool. This is my medal. Hopefully you can see that in the camera there. It's pretty cool. Uh, this was from the Super Frog triathlon, which is a half Ironman distance race um, put on by the Navy SEALs in Coronado, California. And for those of you who don't know, Half Ironman is a 1.2 mile swim, a 56 mile bike ride, and a half marathon, 13.1 mile run. A uh, little race recap, toughest race ever. I mean, this thing was, was brutally hard. Uh, you know, the Navy SEALs obviously have a reputation for being extremely tough, and I think they wanted to show that with the way they set up the race course. Uh, the swim was unusual to say the least basically what they had you do was go out 800 meters through the surf because it's out in the ocean and it was pretty pretty good sized swells coming in uh go out through the about 800 meters and then north against the current 200 meters and then back in and of course that doesn't add up to 1.2 miles so then you ran 200 meters down the beach went back out 800 200 and 800 in so you get to fight through the surf um twice out twice in and Coming in is actually probably the, the scarier of the two because you're really trying to get in, but you also have to kind of keep looking behind you and make sure you don't get pounded by a wave. Um, so it was, it, was, it was an interesting experience, to say the least. Uh, not, certainly not the fastest swim, but given the conditions and the size of the waves, uh, I, was, I was pretty happy to just uh, not have lifeguards pull me out of the water. There was a group in front of us that just got pounded by waves, and uh, there were a few people who whose day ended right there. Um, so, you know, given the conditions, I was pretty happy to just make it through. Uh, bike ride was a little windy. There was a pretty good wind blowing up out of the south, uh, which is a little unusual for that area. But, um, you know, headed into the wind, 19 miles was pretty much top speed. Um, going downwind, you know, 26 to 28, uh, depending on how hard it was blowing at the time. So, you know, it was kind of a four loop course where you'd come down into the wind and then go back and then come down. And so you just had to kind of make your time um, going downwind. But I had a pretty good bike ride, uh, two hours, just under two hours, 40 minutes for the bike ride, 239, some change, I think. Um, the run was unbelievably hard. <laughs> I am not a, I'm not a good runner, and I confess that uh, openly. <laughs> um, and when nine miles of the half marathon is on sand, that doesn't make my running any better. <laughs> it, was, it was really, really tough. Uh, basically, the run course was about three miles down on the beach, uh, which was part packed sand, but it's on kind of an angle, which makes it funky to run on. Then they route you up through some soft stuff, and you go up into this area that the SEALs use to practice blowing stuff up. And they run you down this trail that's just soft sand and ice plant. And uh, then onto some broken pavement, and then onto another running trail, and back out on the beach, and they do two loops of that. So we just roughly figured it was about nine miles uh, that was on sand, which made for a tough, tough race. And I did pretty good until I hit probably about the five hour mark. And uh, about the five hour mark, uh, I mean, I just was blasted, you know, just done. Um, uh, you know, I tried to keep eating tried to keep drinking water. Um, I didn't feel sick or anything like that. I just was zapped. I mean, it was just like somebody punched me in the face. I had no energy. Walked a little bit, ran a little bit, you know, kind of did the combo thing um, and managed to finish. And that was, that was really the only goal I had was to finish. I knew that the course was going to be set up in a pretty treacherous manner. I knew that if the wind started to blow, it would be really hard and the wind blew, and it blew from the opposite direction that I was really anticipating. Uh, and I'm not sure that made it any harder other than just mentally not being prepared for that. But um, I knew it was going to be hard. And I uh, finished in six hours and five minutes, uh, which for my first half Ironman, I was pretty happy with. Um, I don't know that there's ever going to be a second Ironman, half Ironman, but I'm not limiting myself at this point. Um, but I'm really glad that I did it. Uh, the experience taught me a lot. Uh, the training was hard. I did a 14-week training plan, during which time, uh, as I've talked about in previous videos, my body really changed, you know, and I got the ability to 
maintain a steady state heart rate for long periods of time. But in doing that, I really sacrificed um, some of the explosiveness that I had gained um, doing things like Insanity, which is exactly why I'm going back and doing a round of Insanity starting today. Um, that's what I'm really looking for is that explosiveness, um, the ability to, you know, handle intervals better. You know, uh, I went on, I'll give you a good example. I went on a group ride, which is a fun ride that I like to do. And even though I can ride 56 miles in, you know, two hours and 39 minutes, uh, I could barely keep up with this group because they were surging, you know, and when I dropped back behind them and was able to maintain a steady pace, I could keep them right there in front of me, but I couldn't stay in a pace line and I couldn't keep up with the acceleration. And I think the reason simply is that's not what I had conditioned my body to do. I conditioned my body to go sort of go, you know, long and strong, um, with a very steady heart rate. So the purpose of doing insanity is to change that and get some of that explosiveness back. Um, going to keep doing that group ride as a part of doing insanity. I will probably um, swap out some of the workouts um, and I will do on Friday nights, I, either Friday or Saturday night, depending on which day I ride. So if I ride on Saturday, Friday night, I'll do upper body weight training from the insanity deluxe pack and just leave the legs alone. If I ride Sunday, then I'll do that Saturday. So that's kind of going to be my schedule. Um, slightly modified version of insanity, but pretty much doing insanity exclusively may mix in a little bit of weight training, just kind of depending on my schedule and how I feel, but that's what is upcoming. So super excited for that and super excited to get after it. Had a lot of fun doing plyo cardio circuit um, just now. Uh, you know, even after, even after the Ironman, I still have a few little creaks here and there um, that, you know, kind of crept up as I was doing that workout. But even after that, uh, you know, that the type of training that you're doing with Insanity is completely different from the type of training that I was doing. And, you know, I felt pretty good till you get to the level one drills, which are kind of a, you know, you go down, do four push-ups, and then do some run drills, and then pop up and do four push-ups. That stuff really got to me, and, and that was when my heart rate really started to skyrocket. And, uh, you know, I had, to take, I had to take some breaks. So that's good. You know, that means to me that, um, you know, I'm headed down the right path because I'm challenging myself to do something different. And different, as we know, is good. So anyway, um, thanks to everybody out there for all of your encouragement as I trained for and did this race. Uh, it meant a lot to me to uh, hear from all of you with all your words of encouragement. And uh, thanks for helping me through that. I am glad that I did it, but I'm even more glad that it is done. So take care, and we'll talk soon. Thanks.